Here, Democritus. Cassandra! <laughs> what have you brought me? So, I found Zeno's paradox. You did? <laughs> and what did you think of it? The tortoise arrives at a point. Achilles, who is chasing it, runs after him. But after Achilles arrives at the same point, the tortoise has moved on. By the time Achilles arrives at the tortoise's new spot, the creature has again moved further. <laughs> exactly. It shows how the universe divides itself infinitely. A mathematical theory hidden in a child's fable. Zeno was clever. Every knowledgeable old man I've ever met was an idiot. <laughs> but the minds of children are endlessly wise. I found the original golden ratio. A discovery that would change the course of existence. If you say so. It's just a rectangle to me. Open your eyes. That rectangle is two shapes. A rectangle, yes, but also a square. The length of sides A and B is to the length of the side A, as A is to B. So how can this theory be used? Used? <laughs> it isn't used, only observed. It is the divine balance occurring naturally in the most measurably beautiful places in the world. It is everywhere. And nowhere. It took some doing, but I found the Pythagorean theorem. The greatest breakthrough the world will ever know. And now we have it in its original glory. <laughs> I thought it might be about the points of the triangle, but the theorem is about the length of the sides. Astute! <laughs> You're wiser than you put on. The two shorter sides squared, when added together, are equal to the square of the hypotenuse. That was a lot to take in. But I think I found everything. You did. And with this, I can finally form my grand theory. The theory that simultaneously divides and unites all the universe. What is this theory? Using the theorems as evidence, I intend to prove that the universe is divisible into infinitely smaller parts. As we break reality down, the parts shrink, and the space between them grows. Once you prove your theory, what will you do with it? Although I aim to prove that the universe is divisible, I hope that the theory can be used to unite people. All of this sounds... ambitious. One can't achieve greatness by attempting mediocrity. <laughs> but I confess, I have a personal motivation. Everyone always does. Ha! In another life, you would have made a fine student. When I was a student, I loved a poet. But I was so consumed by study, I never told her. I hope to use these theorems to show her my poetry. And maybe to win her heart. If that's what you want to do, let's do it. What? <laughs> right now? You missed your chance to tell her once, Democritus. There's no point in missing it again. Let's go. You're right. This time I will do it properly. I never would have guessed you were a lover. Well, I wasn't. My theory that all atoms exist with a great void between them is a bit like the life I've lived. But not anymore. Now you're filling that void. Maybe. Maybe what fills the void and what draws us together is love. Save that line for the poet, Democritus. It's a good one. You think so? No! That's her! Those bandits, stop them! Democritus, I'm sorry. They killed her. For it to end like this, after all this time. You have your theorem, and the others. Read them to her. Let her see your poetry. It's too late. It's never too late. You can go. In another life, she might have known my love for her. You might have been my student. Imagine the happiness we'd have known. A wise man told me, 
The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. Don't want for the past, Democritus. I'll leave soon enough. But for now, I think I want for privacy. Take this and leave me to mourn, Cassandra. There is no force in the universe greater than that which binds two people together. <laughs> Hear your footsteps. Welcome back. I've seen Kefalonia from the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? Its people are the happiest in all the Greek world. They sing and dance into the night with full bellies and full hearts. But is it how it was described to me at all? The tales go that its lands are among the world's most beautiful, and its people among the most pitiful. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians know peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. Tell me another tale, then I'll tell you more of my past. You'll be glad to know, I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers. Unlike any Persia had known, he was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings? Hired to kill a simple blind man? Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Atere keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way. You owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you, too. He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible! That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here. Exiled. Living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more. But first... Yes, yes. A tale for a tale. 
I returned to Mount Tayedos. Returned? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is just a mountain like any other. What makes Tayetos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child... I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Daigetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale, and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It's so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclitus' fight against chaos, built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So, I've been to the five places Themistocles told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia, as one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me, so I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. Artaxerxes, false king! This Mystios led me right to you! Time to finish what I started! Cassandra, please! Stand behind me. Artaxerxes, are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another, then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. You're a brave man, Artaxerxes. A trade I learned from Themistocles. Now, as for you, I owe you payment. Well, I did save your life. And I went on an adventure for you, your highness. You did? Though much of what you said is not how I remember Themistocles telling it. Things change. Ah, we approve of that, aren't we? Now, for Themistocles' treasure, find the tomb in Salamis where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. That's where your reward awaits.
I wonder what it could be. Awaiting your orders, Commander!
They'll be on high alert here. that desperate? We're helping somebody move? What? The guy's got a lot of stuff. Work is work, and a few extra drachmi never hurt anybody. Sometimes, even the simplest things can be worthy of our attention. That is much more worthy of my attention, Varnavas. So it's not my problem. I don't know what else you want me to say. They're here to kill. Why attack this village? They're innocent.
Dios, watch out! More people near the Spartan camp need help. Persians? Eagle bearer. You? You are the eagle bearer? Go! The huntsman will be pleased when we bring him your head. You're welcome to try. Spartan camp. I should head there. Who was that who saved me? The Spartans here are slaughtering everyone. We have to stop them. Body up ahead. Everyone be on guard. Eagle bearer. Call me Cassandra. My name's Natakas. They called me the Eagle bearer. How do they know about me? I'm not sure, but they're certainly looking for something. The Huntsman. Sounds like a name I should know. And if he's here, we're fucked. I need to take care of these people. That order elite passed through here, killing as he went. He left tracks nearby. I'll follow him. Thank you, Cassandra. For what? For helping. When nobody else would.
didn't deserve this. The bodies lead towards the river. Dead Spartans. And more of the river. I need to find out who did this. How do Persians know who I am? These Persians didn't see it coming. Guards must be on the right path. The elite guard. Someone got to him before me. Someone skilled. What are you doing? This is the Eagle Bearer. That's your father? The Eagle Bearer. We have to leave, Natakas. More soldiers are coming. Our hideout is below the Rock Arch. Find us there.
every time I think we've escaped. They're the order. I know. It's not the first village they've hit. The Order's presence here is increasing. Even more reason to keep to the shadows. And let innocent lives be lost? Innocent lives were lost. You can't do everything yourself. We have to be careful, Natakas. You know that. Burning villages, Persians commanding Spartan soldiers, getting ambushed by an angry old man. I am not in a good mood. Answers, now. How did you find us? I told her. Any more secrets you want to share? You must know what's going on here. The Persians you saw commanding the Spartans... The Order of the Ancients. A powerful secret group who have controlled Persia across the reign of countless kings. Secret organization? Few of those going around. I asked you this before, when you were trying to kill me. Who are you? Darius. I need more than a name. She's earned it. There have always been people who lust for power and control. And there have always been people who oppose them. And which are you? Let me tell you a story of the great King Xerxes. It was many years ago, in Persia. couldn't protect you. Not from me. They've been after us ever since. It's not every day you meet someone with such a story to tell. It's not every day I tell it. But the Order... They're here now. Burning down villages and killing innocent people. What are they looking for? Not us. We were safe here. The Order of the Ancients lost our scent long ago. No. The Huntsman is hunting you. You and your kind. The Tainted Ones. And now you have a choice to make. Fight them, or disappear. Father! I need to know more about this. Maybe Natakas can give me some answers.
few wolves shouldn't be much trouble. I should find Natakas. Men make swords and spears, but teeth and claws are fashioned by the gods. Natakas has gone out hunting if you're looking for him.
Mistios, thank you. Those fuckers thought they could hold me, but they just didn't understand. No prison can hold me. Nobody can hold me down. Not even that stupid order. Right. They were ruining my favorite wine-drinking view with all their mercenaries. No one wants to see trashy mercenaries around their homes. No offense. None taken. You know, I overheard them say they had brought another three mercenaries here. Can you believe that? I'll help you get your view back. Fuck yes! There's three mercenaries, remember. Once they're gone, I'd love to share a cup of wine with you in my spot. Even if you are a mistios yourself. I'd like that.
back. Cassandra, what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same. I find doing something practical helps me get my thoughts together. You like hunting? I do. There's deer here, usually. Every time I've seen you, you're trying to save lives, not end them. I don't see an issue if it's done with balance in mind and respect for the animal. That's a nice idea. I was just about to start. Would you like to join me? I'd like that. It'd be nice. Let's see how good you really are. How many deer do you think you can get? Let's find out. The deer are usually around here. is good in the fight. He must train a lot. Never misses a day. He doesn't know his age. Your father is a man of few words. And you caught him on a more talkative day. Another one. Trust me. Look. A boar? In Macedonia? Almost unheard of. Delicious. It is. Keep quiet. It'll hear you. I can almost taste it. That makes everything better. You're an amazing cook, Natakas. Good enough for the gods. It's an old family recipe. My grandmother would be happy to hear. We should all indulge as gods when we can. Us? Gods? Speak for yourself. I'm already a god. There is something special about you. Everyone can see it, obviously. But no one, not even you, can fully tell what it is. With all that's happened in Macedonia, I guess you can't stay here. I don't know. We always run, ever since I was a child. My mother would find a way. No matter if we were by the side of the road or in a cave somewhere, she'd find a way to keep us warm, safe, like we had a home. I don't know if I'll ever feel that again. She's gone now? Years ago. Same with my siblings. The Order. The last time I saw them was the last time I saw my sister Nima alive. What about you? What about your past? I never knew a true home either. I grew up fending for myself, hoping there'd be a place out there where I'd feel, as you said, Warm. I haven't found it. And anyway, I don't think it exists. We're shaped by our pasts, not defined by them. They are Persians, you say? 
Darius claims to have killed King Xerxes himself. Ha! Ah, you don't believe that, do you? I do believe it. Of all the lies he could tell, that's one of the most unbelievable. A lie worthy of Tholos himself. I don't know what to believe anymore. Darius says this Order of the Ancients are here to find me. The note he found mentioned others. There are others like you? If I believe him, there are. But how do I know that Darius isn't working for the cult, or in the Order himself? You say he's heard you're a great warrior. Maybe he wants to use you to help him fight against this Order. If he's not one of them. The simple question is, do you trust him? Impossible for me to truly trust anyone. Ouch! Except you, Varnavas. It sounds like you need to go back to these Persians if you want to know what's really going on. Darius is hiding something. That much is clear. Then be careful. Make sure whatever he is hiding isn't a trap. I'll be as careful as I always am. That's what I'm afraid of. And this is the proud. Strange name.
Let's go. Let's move! This man is tough to survive being buried alive like this. That stubborn old man, he left to look for the huntsman on his own. What's he thinking? He keeps saying, I work alone. But if he keeps this up, he'll die alone too. He needs my help, our help. Fathers always think they know best. You've seen his scars. They come faster as he gets older. We've got to help him look for the huntsman. So what's next? My father is following up on his leads, but I have leads of my own. The Huntsman has lieutenants doing his will while he remains hidden. We have to find them and get them to reveal his whereabouts. Point my spear in the right direction, and I'll make them squeal. One of the Huntsman's lieutenants is a recruiter. He rallies locals to his death squad to hunt you down. You should know, I shared this lead with my father. I also have a contact who was supposed to spy on the Order activity, but she was last seen in the wetlands. I'll look for her there. Lastly, 
people are falling violently ill in Potadea village. I suspect the order. Your contact in the wetlands. Any idea what happened to her? I sent her to spy on an order lieutenant there. He commands the local Spartan troops in the area. I fear what he might have done to her. We need to save her and see if we can get more information on the Huntsman. I need to know more about the situation in the village. The locals are very ill, and the order must be behind it. The Magistrate is taking charge of the situation, but I'm doubtful of his intentions. You told Darius about an order recruiter. Where can I find your father? He might have learned something new. The recruiter has been holding meetings around the farms in Macedonia. There's one near the hideout. I'll investigate these leads so that we can find the Huntsman. Here in Atakas. I'll see you at Potedea. I have to investigate something there. Finding information on the Huntsman. How hard could this be? We go now. Archers here!
Come on. 